there's so much romance in Exo Kitty. Your character gets to spark a little electricity with, I believe, three different characters. <laughs> Was there one relationship that you thought that makes the most sense for our girl Kitty? I'm a big fan of the enemies to lovers trope. Can you please just get out of my life? I don't want to be next to you either. So I would have to say, Mino, I would love to see them attempt at explore least, that, explore yeah, that, that, you know, navigate those feelings a little bit. I mm -hmm. think that would be a really interesting dynamic to play on. I think either Kitty and Minho or Kitty and Yuri. Okay. She's <laughs> <laughs> okay. like, oh, what the? Oh, sorry. So we need to remove ourselves okay, from okay. the character. Okay, okay. Listen, Andrew. We're not yes, the actual characters because, here. Yes. I know, I know. Because, you know, it's just a classic romance uh, like formula of like, oh, they hate each other? We want them to love each other. You know, because we all want the unity at the end of it. So mm. whatever, like, there's ne nemesis, we're like, oh, we want them to be friends. Yeah. Why do you think Yuri made a good match? I think it's also just because it's also so unexpected, too. It's like, okay, boyfriend potential, oh. and then there's like, whoa, okay, Kitty's finding out something new about herself, mm. and it's just, it just adds another layer to it. Dear Lara, Jean, and Marco, Operation Kiss is actually happening. This is not all about a boy. This is for me. XO Kitty. Something that I love about her is that she does everything with her full heart and she does what feels right for her, not because someone else is pushing her into it or because she thinks it's expected or she should. So I think whoever Kitty feels right is is the ship that I support. Cause I'm like, I want her to do what she wants to do. <laughs> and I also think she doesn't need a person. I love how at the end of the season she is Jesus. on her own and exactly. she's choosing herself. And so many doors have just been opened and like crashed down in front of her that the world is kind of constantly turning. Like the ups and downs don't stop once they start mm -hmm. and she's kind of alone at the end but she feels very proud of herself and I'm very proud of her that she's giving herself the space to figure that out and to not force anything or rush anything and be honest with what she wants. I have to say the last scene, the Mino scene with the airplane, that one did get to me. Come I was like, on, this right? is adorable. Like, I did love it. But I mean, what a gesture. I think Day and Kitty, they their timeline was exactly right for them, but I am really happy with their relationship and I'm really glad mm -hmm. that Kitty got that experience. And like she says, you're the perfect first boyfriend. I think that's totally true. So I, I love the relationship, but I agree that it's like, it had its time. I would say I was like open to whatever Kitty wants. What I really liked about the romance with Yuri, not because that Yuri fits well to Kitty, it mm. was because that Kitty's discovering a whole different role for her, yeah. and she's she was she was not afraid of it. Well, she was, but like she ad admits it and then like faces it, mm -hmm. and I really like cheered for her. When Kitty was with Day, I really liked the innocent love there. That's what made it so special and made it so heartwarming and everything. But at the same time, I also can't blame Minho's feelings towards Kitty at the same time. You can't blame him. Well, yeah, no, because I <laughs> He's think- your best friend, dude. Oh, that's the thing. <laughs> See, I could say something about this. You like, wouldn't be God, mad you if you're- Move yourself. No, I'm so, just asking. Yeah, so it's you a good question. It. So I would say, so the, the reason why I would say this is because when Minho was all about being loyal to his friends, Q and Day, he was there all the way. And, but then there were so many parts during, during the whole episodes throughout the season where he got rejected by his friends and his girls or whatever, right? So he just started thinking like, all right, okay, you know what? It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. But then later on, there was this huge push when they decided to blame Minho. Like, well, it was a whole misunderstanding where he pushed me against the wall and everything. Like, yeah, yeah, and I was I like, wait, hold up. I'm your freaking best friend here. You should be careful. Like, what's <laughs> going on here? So like, I think, I think once, um, Everything was a bit more settled down, everything. Like he knows everyone's relationship. He's like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna shoot my shot now. Forget my friends, because they didn't really care about me, so let's go for it. So I think that's why I kind of support Mino as well. I think I fell in love with you. A little bit. Or a lot. What was your reaction to that epic cliffhanger at the end of season oh one? Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, you're like, hold it yeah, up for dear life. First reaction, like, there must be a season two. There must be yeah. a continued story about this. Me. Like, you can't end it like this. Like, yeah, and yeah. like, we were watching that ending scene yesterday with, all together for the first time. And we're like, whoa, like, in five minutes, 10 different things happened for Kitty mm. and like all three different <laughs> Kitty people was in like, bye, Yo, you're <laughs> Yo, Minho. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what is going on? 
Okay, so that leaves so much juicy stuff for a season two. What is the storyline that you are most excited to tackle in a fingers crossed season two? Okay, I want to see her continue to follow her heart and do what feels right and push herself. I think Kitty pushes a lot of other people in her life and that's in a loving way always, but she definitely does that for lots of other characters. If she wants people to, you know, go out of their comfort zone and, and do their best. But I think sometimes she puts that on other people more than she puts it on herself. And for her to really do what scares her, I think is really fun to see, which we we do see in this season as well. Well, actually what I was like, really, I was like expecting was we had things about us a lot, but there could be more things the with factors, the parents yeah. uh, and yeah. like stories. new stories mm -hmm. and like not only between like characters and Kitty. Mm -hmm. Like there could be like things with Mino and me, like there's yeah, a lot of things that parents, could happen. My yeah. parents, yeah, everyone's family. I would love to see more of Hugh's background, his family life and stuff. Like he was one of the only characters we didn't see season one of his personal life a little mm. bit. So I would love to explore that, especially him being a queer character and how he was brought up necessarily and how he's coming to terms with all of that kind of stuff. I would love to like take a peek into his past a little bit. There's so many possibilities and there's so many ways that it could go that I, I'm dying to see what that vision could look like or what the future could look like, but I think no matter what, if she stays true to herself, it'll be good.